Hello, Liza. How do you do? Hello and welcome to a new vlog all the way from Austria. This is part two of our Europe travel series and it's day two in Salzburg. Well, actually not in Salzburg because we already left Salzburg for a day trip to the countryside and we already reached our first destination here. I heard you got a new place. I heard you got a new job. I heard you got a haircut and it looks real nice. Are you ever lonely? Do you ever think of me? I heard you got a new man. I hope it treats you right. And before you toss this letter away, there's something that I've got to say. And there Sky can surely take your body to a new place for a while, but some things stay no matter where you go. Do you still love me, lies, babe? Please tell me yes or no. So look at the view behind me. We are in the we are in a region which is known as the Salzkammergut region of Austria, which is basically the countryside of Austria. And again, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right because the words here are, words here are a little difficult to pronounce. Uh, but yeah, it's the Salzkammergut uh, region, and basically it has a lot of small countryside villages and a lot of lakes. And the biggest and the most beautiful lake is what you see right behind me. So this is the Saint Wolf Gangsi Lake. It's a huge lake and uh, it's cloudy today, which I don't know is a good thing or a bad thing because even though it's cloudy, it's very, very beautiful. Obviously, if it was sunny, uh, then the views would have been a little different. But even this is very, uh, very pretty and the weather is obviously very, very, ple very pleasant. Where you go? Do you still love me last day? This is absolutely beautiful and uh, there are ducks over here as well and uh, quite big fishes. So I think we're just gonna sit here for a while and enjoy the view. There's also a small flea market going on over here and because it's Sunday I think the local markets are gonna be closed but then they have these small flea markets which are selling really wooden products and some clothes and some decorative items. So it's all so beautiful and uh, people are having ice cream over here. It's cold but I think I want to have ice cream in this cold weather. But uh, So there's a ferry that goes across this lake and the original plan was to take the cock train which is the oldest running steam engine of Austria up to one of the mountains but I'm not sure if it's running today because it's cloudy and also because it's cloudy I'm not sure how the view would be from the top. But I think for now we are just going to be here and enjoy the view with these cute little ducks. <laughs>
So this small scenic village is actually called Saint Gilgin, and the other village, which is the Saint Wolf Kangsi, it's on the other side of the lake, for which you have to take a ferry. So if you take the ferry, it's I think a three-hour. It'll take you on a three-hour ride across the entire lake, and uh, it costs about twenty-three euros per person, I guess. But with that ferry, you can reach the other side of the lake and visit the Saint Wolf Kangsi. A village as well. So for now, we are just taking a walk around this scenic village, and uh, thanks to the weather and the, the, thanks to the cloudy weather, it's looking even more beautiful. We did not take the ferry, so the ferry takes around three hours. So we are just going to drive around the lake and go towards the other side of the lake to the small village of Wolfgangsi. And uh, if the weather is good, if it becomes sunny, we might also take the cock train up the mountains. So let's go. So after visiting the village of Saint Gilgen, now we have uh, we drove around the lake, and now we have reached the small village of Saint Wolfgang, and it looks very very scenic. We've just parked our car at the parking lot, and now we're just going to go and explore uh, this side of the town. This is also where. Uh, you can come in both the cock train, the steam engine train, but because it's cloudy, we decided to skip it because uh, the views from the top would be obstructed because of the clouds. So we, are, I think, we're just going to go and explore the village and see how beautiful and scenic it is. It already looks really pretty.
so we just finished lunch at this small cafe which is located right next to the museum so that's the cafe and that's where, where we were sitting with a very beautiful view of the uh, lake and we had one pasta and one you know, chicken steak and it costed us around 32 euros along with one coke so one lunch for 32 euros which is okay i guess because the good thing about the food here is that the portion is quite big So we have finally arrived at the final destination of our day today and also the most beautiful destination which is Hallstatt. Hallstatt is known as the fairy tale village of Austria. It's supposed to be very very beautiful. <laughs> 